you had a lot of signature wins that season. And one of those, of course, we had to bring up the game against USM. Of course, USM always plays us tough, and uh, we hate it. But then the catch happened. <clears throat> Describe that moment. And did it really happen mainly because of your superior ball, superior ball placement skills? It, <clears throat> there's a longer story to it that I'm not going <laughs> to jump into. Um, but I, I will say that – Tyrone Prothro is still to this day the best athlete that I ever played with. And uh, I don't care how tall he was. I don't care if he's covered or double covered or what it is. If I ever felt that he had a chance, he was my guy. Uh, and so man, what you're saying is you should have gotten the SB. I didn't even get invited to the ESPYs. Not even by the <laughs> way. No, wait, like, how does that sure. work? You know, he might or might not even run the wrong route, and I still threw it to him. That's neither here nor there either. But, you know, uh, he made the catch. I, I literally – and that that was so pivotal to our year. I'm serious. Like, if, if that play doesn't happen, we're going into halftime at USM down 11 points playing on ESPN. Like, and, you know, we're at that cusp of – and we've had some good things happen, but we really need uh, we need, we need this win. And so to have that play and then to follow it up with a touchdown the very next uh, play and go into halftime, get the ball back, and then we end up getting on them pretty good in the second half. But that was a momentum shifter for us. And I'm not saying mm -hmm. for that game, I'm saying for that season. Oh yeah, that was one of those momentum shifters that if that doesn't happen. Um, I think that that season very easily can go in a different direction. And, man, I, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool uh, to, to remember that play.